Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to Death Watch. I've been told by many different people to check out this game. Apparently, this is a observation duty type game, but mixed in with some other kind of styles of other games as well, including, I think, like, uh, oh my gosh, Chill, Hell, Nightmare, or Normal, we're doing Normal. Uh, North Pines Cabin, Murphy, Murphy's Farm, Hellbound Hospital, and UMB Labs. Okay, we only got the North Pines Cabin. Playing Death Watch. Welcome to Death Watch. Use the right monitor to observe each room and spot any changes or events happening. Observation duty. Right mouse click to exit equipment. Be aware that changes can also happen around you, so use your flashlight often, middle mouse or F. When you notice the camera microphone fluctuating, wait and listen. Log events using the event logger left monitor. Upon receiving a frequency impossibility, cross it off your RGB one through six graph. Make sure to read any notes left by the previous hunters. Once you've logged enough events, input the remaining values into your Ghost Zapper 2000. Don't forget to watch your back. You may not be the only one observing. Let's begin. Oh, interesting. Oh, weird. Okay. So, so yeah, this feels like a, like a mix between observation duty, welcome to the game. There's a few things here. Okay, so we got our first note. There seems to be one entity that can't be logged. If you hear breathing, make sure to find it. It hates the light. Um, you only get one chance to banish the entity, so make it count. Oh, oh, so this is the RGB thing? Okay, and these are our different rooms. We got a mic monitor in the top left, descriptor. So we got the shed, porch, path, driveway, graveyard. So one, two, three, four, five locations. Ooh, very spooky. Okay. I don't know what I should be looking out for in this. Hello? Oh boy. Oh, I don't like that I can look around this place. Like where should I even be looking? I can't get up from my chair, but we can look around. So if I find something, um, basically like porch, camera malfunction, log event, maybe, gosh, maybe it will give me an event number. Um, let me look at these though. So we've got audio threat, audio gore, audio help, blood gore, camera malfunction, door manipulation, extra object, entity orbs, entity sighting, feet or handprints, lighting, object movement, object disappearance, symbols, victims slash limbs, and writing. There's quite a lot of different things here. So the path, did the path have uh, tombstones before? I have no idea. This truck had its lights on previously, I'm pretty sure. Again, this is gonna be a, a rough start just because we're getting used to the game. We don't fully understand everything that's going on. Apparently I need to look around as well because other people might be watching me. I'm not the only watcher here. Okay. Very weird. This is cool though. I like uh, I like the direction that this game is going so far. Always love me a good observation duty type game. It's always a very, very fun time. I always gotta be in the right headspace though for this. <laughs> Cause then I just don't know like what I should be keeping an eye out for. And I'm curious how we lose in this game. Like what is the losing factor? Lightning got me. Hello? Come on, dude, you gotta close your door. You just gotta close that door, buddy. Not okay, not okay just to have a random door open. Hello? Oh, I heard you stomping out there. Okay, okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, uh... Okay, let's just, just keep looking around. See if anything is extremely obvious. I don't see any sounds coming from over there. Hmm. Okay, I should start like uh, visually and verbally confirming the things that I see. So we got a rocking chair, plant on the picnic table, a few books, uh, meat cleaver, and uh, some firewood with a hatchet. Mailbox, gate is open, and two boxes. That's about it. There's a bunch of headstones. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Hi. 
Hello. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Your room. Um. Um. Entity sighting. Log event. Checking for event type. Ghost sighting. In your room. Processing data. Vent logged successfully. More data needed. So what, what does this mean? I don't fully understand what's happening here. I guess, uh, can I do anything over on this table? There's not much I can do in this, this little room, it seems. So I got 100% battery. I guess this is the time down here. Can't interact with these thingies. Can't interact with that. Okay. Back over here. Hello? I hear him walking. I hear him moving around. Okay, okay. Just stay on the TV. Truck, paint can. Hello? E oh, oh, oh. Lights in the driveway. Okay, driveway. Driveway, uh, lights? Lighting. Log the event. Checking for event type, lighting and location. Processing data. What do we have for this? New wavelength, impossibility, green one. Okay. Got it, got it. Oh, I, I think I understand. So whenever we're finding an entity, we're getting this thing crossed off so that we understand what's needed. Um, and then I'm sure at the end of everything, we might get a an option that uh, tells us about the last three numbers with their associated colors that are needed for, for the thingies, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, it's very, <laughs> very hard to explain while also searching through this thing. Um, Is there extra light over there? Yeah, there's a light going. What? Porch. Porch audio gore. Log event. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Okay, so that's what that means. Event logged successfully. More data needed. Interesting. Okay. Can you, can you stop walking around out there? You're making me really nervous, buddy. You're making me very nervous. Okay, the pathway, again, headstones, we got a little watering. Hole. Where was that? Oh, what the heck? Okay, that's, um, that's the shed. Shed, uh, is, is that the camera? Camera malfunction, it has to be. Log the event. Hello? Okay, got it. Possibility, red five. Okay, take out five. Keep going, keep going. This is cool. It's like a process of elimination. What kind of noise was that? In the driveway. Audio threat, audio. Probably audio gore, right? So what happens if I get it wrong? Processing data. Oh, successfully. All right, so after two Successful logs, I guess, is when it gives you the next number in your little data points. Interesting. It Did the light go out here in the graveyard? I can try to test this. See graveyard, lighting, log event. See if that has anything here. Processing data. Yeah, okay, blue three. Hello? I heard growling. I heard growling. Who was oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Someone's toes are down there. Um, <laughs> that's the shed. I'm assuming that's a victim slash limbs. Let's see, is it reporting? What do we get? Oh, okay. Red one. Got it. Um, is he just gonna stay there? Oh my gosh! 
my room. Um, entity setting, log the event, hurry. Your room, processing data, processing data. Locking out of logging for 10 seconds. Wait, did I not get it right? <laughs> I mean, that was definitely a weird entity. <laughs> what the heck, man? Okay. Um, um, shed, I'm gonna do victim limbs again. Victim or limbs and shed. Yeah, okay. So I guess he's just there now. <laughs> the legs are just there now. That's funny. That's very funny. Okay, back over here. There's a lot of stuff. I have no idea what I need to be looking for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have no idea what I need to be looking for in the path, but uh, oh, 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 look at that. Look at that guy. Okay, driveway, driveway, driveway. That's definitely an entity sighting. Got it. Log it, log it. There he goes, he's leaving. Processing data. Successfully, more data need. Okay, yeah, he was way up here. That was very sneaky. Little sneaky guy. Oh, camera malfunction in the graveyard. Camera malfunction. Log the event. What are we gonna get from this one? Hopefully crossing off another number. Blue six. Okay, got it. Oh, I... Oh my gosh. Hi, hi. <laughs> my room. Um, Victim limbs, it has to be that, right? <laughs> come on, come on. Get him out of here. Processing. Processing. Blue four. Okay, he's just he's just permanently here, apparently. He's just permanently here. Um and now the battery says it's at 65%. So maybe that's when I got it wrong. Oh, there's a little hand sticking up out of the graveyard. Graveyard. Uh victim limbs. Let's go ahead and report that one. See what happens. Victim or limbs. Okay, got it. Hello? Oh. oh, I don't like looking around anymore. I don't like looking around this room anymore. <laughs> okay, back to the cameras. We have to keep looking. We have to keep finding what's here. Oh my gosh, there's another person up there in the path. Man, they're going crazy with the victims. Okay, report it. Process it. What number are we going to cross off now? Green too. Okay, got it. Got it. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep processing. Gotta get all these animalies. Every single last one of them. Oh, uh, porch. I guess that'd be a camera malfunction, right? <laughs> what was that noise? What was that noise? What was that noise? Uh, yeah, blue too. Who made that noise? <laughs> Just... <laughs> was that in the camera? I I do not know. Graveyard. Yeah, it's really weird that they don't actually fix the anomalies after they happen. So everything's just kind of stuck in their bad spots. So where I'm probably gonna lose on this first run through is not knowing. That is the path. Um, I think it's Audio Gore again. Cause it doesn't sound like a threat necessarily. It sounds like something's getting wrecked. Yeah, successful, okay. Logged it. Try and look around. See if there's anything new in here. I don't like it. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'm looking around. Where are you? Okay, still 65%. Back to the graveyard. Back to the shed. This moved. Shed. Object movement. Object move. Right? Processing, processing. Green three. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, I think, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty confident that that was the one that moved over. I could be totally wrong. Okay. 
Okay, I'm done looking around here. I'm done looking around. Done looking around. Got our driveway. Go back to our graveyard. Look. Hello? Is this thing making the noises? Because it's moving. It's moving around. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I didn't see you there. Okay, that's my room. Um, that's an entity sighting. Let's go and log the event. Hurry, hurry. Did, did I get it wrong? I did, and it went down to 30% battery. Okay, see, this is where it's gonna get a bit difficult. This is where it's gonna get a bit difficult. And I feel like that wasn't there before. Graveyard. Um, graveyard. Graveyard, extra object. Extra object, extra object. Graveyard, processing, processing. What do we get out of it? What do we get out of it? Locking up. All right, I'm upset -y. Oh, and I just realized too, I need to be checking this whole room for all of these different entity things. Okay, path. That's easy. That has a camera malfunction. Log the event. See where this takes us. Processing, processing. Blue minus one. Okay, so blue is definitely the number five. Got it. Okay, so blue five. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone else in this room? Okay, but yeah, in my room, I can still find blood gore, door manipulation, extra object, object move, lighting, feet or handprints, entity sighting, disappearance, symbols, victim limbs, and writing. Which, is there gonna be writing on the walls somewhere? Oh, chunks? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, so cute. Got little chunks over here. Got this candle. We're looking around the room. So we already reported that, I think. And I guess if you've seen the entity once, it's not gonna report uh, any more times after you've reported it a singular time. That's that's my guess, at least. Okay, got the hand, got the knife, got the legs. Got a nice volleyball down here. Um, I haven't really seen anything change in the porch area. I feel like. I feel like maybe objects moved um, in porch and path. Again, there's so many things on the tables or maybe extra or object disappearance that I'm not aware of. So again, that's where it makes it difficult since I'm just seeing these areas for the first time. Not too sure what I should be looking for all the time. And then same thing in here. I just trying to keep an eye out in case I have anything that seems a little off. Like that. That little thing on the wall seemed a little off. I'm not too sure about it. I really am not too sure. But that's an option. Um, but again, I don't know if that was there beforehand. A little confusing. Hear the footsteps, but I'm not. I'm not gonna look behind me. I, I kind of want to know what happens if I just end up dying, <laughs> or if I can't actually report anything. Like if something's behind me and I don't look, if it's just gonna come kill me. Oh, look at that! Look at that little thing on the wall. Porch. Porch symbols. Log event. That's gotta work, right? Please? Maybe? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that wasn't there before. Interesting. So any lookout for symbols in any of these areas too. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so what if I don't get up? What if I don't get up when I hear that? Okay, so there's a symbol in the graveyard too. Oh, got it, got it, got it. More symbols, log event. Okay, I understand, I understand, I understand. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. And we're getting rid of red six, okay? I may as well look around. Took a little long, not looking. So are there any symbols in here then? <laughs> Get all chunks. Chunky, chunky. Okay, any monsters just creeping? 
No, should be fine. Okay, so we have the little anarchy symbol. That's blood. That was not there before in the shed. Let's go back to the shed. And I guess blood slash gore. Log event. Processing. Processing. <gasps> Green six. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're knocking this thing down. This is great. And then I don't know if that's supposed to be a symbol or blood on the little thingy over there, but again, I don't think we need to worry about it. We already got this symbol. What's nice about this is... Yes? <laughs> What's nice about this, as I was gonna say, is that... Uh... Oh, it is him! It is him making noise! <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? Object move? No, nah, that'll just kill me, probably. Uh, it, it's very forgiving, um, kind of going through. Was this here before? I don't know. Same thing with this little backlight. So you can take your time getting through this. Oh, graveyard. Is that a lighting? So a 30. Processing, processing. Oh, we got it wrong? So what is that then? So is that a, uh, so it's not lighting. Would that just be camera malfunction? So it's none of these, not that. Door, entity, or something like object movement. Yeah, it would have to be a uh, graveyard camera malfunction then, right? But it's still 30%, which is interesting. So I don't know, I don't know how you actually fail. Okay, logged su successfully. So those ones get fixed. So anything that regards the, that blood wasn't there either. So what if I go back to the shed and do more blood and gore? Will that fail me? Yeah, it was successful. So red three. So cross that out. So we only need to get two more events logged in here. Let me just look around here first. <laughs> Love it. Okay, back here. So two things of blood, one symbol. There doesn't seem to be anything going on, going on there. Um, I want to say that this little, this little box wasn't there before. <laughs> and it's so dark. I'm, I'm like looking through, looking through to see if I can find anything hidden in the background of any of these areas. We got a shovel, knife, shovel knife. Um. <gasps> oh! Oh, I did not see you. Oh, did my flashlight just go out? Oh, my flashlight's out. Oh, 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 okay. Sure, sure, my flashlight's just completely out. So that's what the percentage was for. Got it, got it. I think I can report things. I'm gonna go path and I'm gonna do extra object just to see what happens, just to see what happens. Please, 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 please process that data. Come on. Oh, okay. okay, that was that was not correct. Okay, so don't look behind me. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm just dead if I can't figure out the, the number combination here. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Um, um, symbol books. Uh, what if I do object disappearance in the path? Path, object. Object move? I'm just gonna report it. I'm just gonna report it, see what happens. Red minus four. <gasps> okay, so it's two. Two. Red is two. Green is either four or five. Uh, should I just report it? Because I feel like I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die. Because why would it be two, five, five? You only get one chance. Uh, okay, let's look. See if there's anything else, see if there's anything else. I hear them behind me, I hear them behind me. Okay, I'm reporting it. <laughs> Is it working? It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Um. What's happening?
<laughs> so I couldn't see what happened, but I guess I survived. I guess I survived the first level. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Cool. Oh, that was, I was a very good at guessing that very last number. Okay, so I much better understand this game, what you need to do to survive, getting between one point and another, knowing that as you go throughout the game, you're going to find more of those opportunities of the actual entity in your room coming for you. And every time you capture it with your flashlight, your battery goes down a bit until you're, it's completely gone and you can't stop it anymore. So I think that's the whole fail point. Anything else misreporting the anomalies, the entities themselves, it, all it does is give you a stop timer so that you can't report something for 10 seconds, which is really not a bad uh, kind of negative whatsoever. Very interesting, very, very interesting. I'm excited to continue checking out more of this game. Um, I think I got this on Steam sale for the winter sale, but this game's like, I think it was like eight bucks normally, which is, seems, it seems a little hefty. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it seems like a hefty price for only four maps, but I guess you have the different difficulties and stuff. Um, only if you hate yourself, which, which is cool, uh, but I'll have to see more. And, and actually, you know what, this, this game does support VR as well, which is probably a lot more terrifying and probably a lot more fun, actually. I might, I might check this out on my VR headset. Uh, and make a video with it. We'll see. I, I don't really do a lot of VR stuff and VR content. You don't get to see the facial expressions and stuff like that, which is one of the most fun parts. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed it as a whole, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear any thoughts and feelings. What uh, anomalies, anomalies did I miss on this one? And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things. Always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.